showing you exactly how to export and fill more. We are inside of Filmora 13.1.8. So this is the one that we're using, but you'll be okay if you have another one. Just follow along with this video. Right here, I have a video file that I recorded inside of OBS. And if we check what this video file is, we can go ahead and hit Command I, and that's gonna show that the bit rate is at 70,000. It's a 4K video. And if I click video details down here, it's gonna tell me that it is filmed in 60 FPS. If you're on Windows, all you gotta do is just right click on the file and then go to properties and then just look at it that way. It'll show you all the same things. We see the bit rate that we recorded in. That is very, very important. When we go to export, we click this up here. And then if you never clicked it before inside this application, it'll have you log in or create an account. I've already logged in. Right here, we have some different options. We have local, we have device, we have YouTube, straight upload if you log in. We have TikTok, same situation. We have Vimeo as well. And then we have the DVD situation. But for the sake of this video, we're just gonna be sticking around in local. You see right here, you can change the actual name of the video. You can choose where you want to save it to. And then right here for the preset, you can either choose match project settings or you can choose custom. I'm going to go ahead and choose custom. And then what that's going to let us do is we can simply hit settings and then it's going to let us change a lot of this stuff. If you choose lower up there, this will warn you if it's going to lower your quality. Recommended, it says 40,000, but it's still going to lower the quality because the particular video that I have in the actual timeline is recorded with 70,000 bit rate. And then higher we see is 80,000 right there. So that would be more than I need. So if you have certain assets that you throw in that's closer to 80,000, that's cool. But you can always type a certain one in for whatever you need. You don't have to use these pre-selected ones for lower, recommended, and higher. I'm going to just go ahead and put the seven right there for the 70,000 bit rates. Just be what it is. And then right here, resolution, you can always upscale or downscale the video if you want to, or do a custom situation. The FPS, you really want to stick to whatever your video is. This is 60 FPS. So that's what I'm going to leave that on. As far as the bit rate mode, CBR, as you see right there, is a constant bit rate. It's going to keep the same quality the whole time that the video is being played and stuff and rendered. Now this right here, the veritable bit rate situation is very nice because this can actually keep file sizes down. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna pick from the highest number when it needs it. And when it doesn't need that high bit rate, it's gonna go ahead and lower it a little bit. So it's gonna fluctuate up and down. I'm gonna leave it on CBR. And then right here, we see we have compression quality. If you look over here, it says better compression quality keeps more details and also takes more time to export. So if you want it to look real, real crispy, if you got a nice, powerful computer, go ahead and choose high and just see how that works for you. If that's taking entirely too long for you, you can go ahead and drop it down to medium, try low, or you can just go ahead and just leave it on none and see how you like it. If you record it in 48 kilohertz, go ahead and choose that. And if you're recording in 44, go ahead and choose that just make that match as far as what youtube videos are concerned you can give it whatever you want as far as the bit rate for audio they'll just you know do what they want with it after they get it so it won't hurt to go ahead and do this or make it match whatever you actually recorded so you can go ahead and choose 192 or you can go ahead and bump it up to 320 whichever one you want. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit apply right there. And then down here is gonna tell you the duration along with giving you an estimated file size right there. And I was wondering if that's gonna do that. So clicking this right here, don't even mess with this after you do the settings, leave this alone. because This is gonna mess it up. It changes it if you choose this. So this is not nothing extra. This is just this, but in a different spot. So I'm gonna leave it like I had it on higher, so. I just wanted to make sure if that's going to do what I thought it was going to do, and it did. So down here, if we scroll down, you see that it has 60-second YouTube shorts, if that's the situation. You can also go to custom for whatever you want it to be as far as the auto highlight situation. Then right below that, you see it has enabled GPU accelerated video encoding. I wouldn't turn it off because turn it off is probably just going to make everything run way slower, and you don't want to be doing that.
then all you got to do is hit the export button and then after that you can upload that video to wherever you want it to be and i also want to throw in the fact that yes if you do not pay for filmora it's going to have a watermark on it i don't know how big the watermark is there it is i didn't know if they changed the size of it or not but right there you see it's gonna have a watermark just smack across that bad boy so go ahead and give it a purchase or you can just test it out and see how you like it see how the speed works for you and then if you like the situation go ahead and give it a purchase if this video helped you out please send the like button is greatly appreciated and i'll see you in the next one peace